Can I have Lola? Lola? Yeah, that's my Les Paul's name. Oh, I see. That's a size name, bro. Shut up, size, honestly. <laughs> The one with the verb do this. That one. It's been really, it's been quite a challenge to get a nice angle on this camera. I can hear that this guitar is blue. Really? You've got exceptional hearing. Die Coke! <laughs> <laughs> Okay! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah, man! Yeah, we're it's blindfolded. Video time. There's a big man with an afro in the room. Any shit could happen. Uh, first of all, can you tell me if I'm facing the right direction? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> this way? Yes. Awesome. Um, so, today we're doing another blindfold challenge. Uh, let's just see if Lee and I can high five without preparation. Ready? And go. <laughs> <laughs> Not even do it again. Do it again. Oh, oh no. that's really, really um, unsatisfactory. Really unsatisfactory. Um, blindfold testing with gain amps, which was somebody's suggestion on the last video. Yes. They just like to see us uh, bound in a room, I think. Now, the last video, we did, we did one where we tried to do a clean thing. Now, I've titled that clean video that it was modeling versus solid state versus valve. And there has been some debate as to whether it was correct of me to refer to the uh, Roland Blues Cube as solid state. As strictly speaking, it has still got some digital uh, jiggery pokery in there, albeit that it's not still not what I would class quite as a modeling amplifier. Anyway, so in this video, I have absolutely made sure that the three amplifiers are distinctly different. Good. I'm um, glad you've done now, that, Lee. I know what the amps are, and Rob doesn't. So Rob doesn't even know. So obviously... Uh, Rob knows that we've chosen a digital, a solid state, and a and a, a valve amplifier. I know what they are, although I don't know whereabouts Rabir's put them. So I'm, you know, but Rob doesn't even know what they are. I don't know my own. So name. I've got to try and in this video not tell you until the end what they are. But anyway, they are what. Does that make any sense? That makes perfect perfect sense. sense. To me. But I chose. Uh, they're all one by twelve combos. Um, so the speakers are the same size. The cabinet sizes are a little different, so I'm guessing that's going to influence the tone slightly. Uh, but the idea is, is Rabir comes in, uh, dials up uh, as close a sound out of each amp as he can possibly get, and then we plug in and we try and guess which okay. one is the which one is the, the the digital amp, which one is the solid state amp, and which one is the valve amp. And no, if you want to play uh, along too, you should shut your eyes or blindfold yourself or just look in the opposite direction and just listen to the audio, and then you can play along too. Big. Well, I'm using uh, size. What guitar are you? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, the new cool word is the word size. So, cool. so you can say, for example, damn, that's size. Or uh, so size. Or something like that involving the word size. That's that's the new cool word, not size. Cool. Uh, Lee, what guitar are you using? I'm using, unless, of course, Premier's handed me something else. I'm pretty sure. Let me just smell it. Hang on. Definitely. Uh, I'm using the uh, 58 reissue that I bought uh, from Andertons just before Christmas. Um, and there's a video about that too. But I must admit, I was saying to Rob, I have been playing this guitar so much since I bought it. it, it it's just the guitar has inspired me to play more. It's been I a bit of a renaissance it. for you, hasn't yes. it? <clears throat> well, I've got the ML3 traditional in blue. This one actually belongs to a customer who's had a couple of uh, Seymour Duncan pickups putting it basically the RC, MR3 RC configuration. So it's a bit juice hair. I'm ready then. Are you, are you ready, Lee? I'm right. born ready. Plug me in. Okay, here we go. Could you lift your neck, please? Your guitar neck. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's something really loud in the room as well. Oh, they're all very loud. Oh, okay.
I reckon. Is there a reason why we haven't got reverb on these, Rabir? No. Is that because they've all three combos have got reverb, haven't they? Yeah. Or are we just doing this with no? Well, what, he's what would obviously. You prefer? Now that's interesting. He's obviously not engaged the reverb, so as not to give away which amp is which. I'm gonna say that's the analog amplifier. Can I I'm try? Saying, it? I'm I saying that based upon the way it reacts to a sustained yeah. high gain I, note. I didn't think that sounded terribly valvey myself. It sounded nice. Yeah. Let me. Uh, I'm holding a cable out. There you go. Thank you. <coughs> Let's have a listen with a lay pole plugged into it. Here we are. <laughs> I'm going with. I am agreeing with Rob. I think it's. I think it's. Uh, it doesn't sound terribly valvey to me, but it's got a certain punch that I think old sort of solid state amps do tend to at least have some balls behind them that, that gonna, sometimes digital amps don't. I'm going to put my mouth on the plate or whatever the phrase is what? and say <clears throat> that it sounds better with a less pull. And I know an app designer that uses Les Pauls a lot, and his name's Aid, and I reckon that is an orange, wow. um, one of the solid state orange amps. Well, I'm saying I'm saying nothing because I know, as I said, I know which three brands are in here, but I'm saying nothing, uh, and I'm just going to wait till the end, and uh, and I'm just going to let Rob guess away at what okay. brands things are, orange. Which, is, which is cool. Analog, one by twelve, right? Thing. What did you think, YouTube? Did that sound valvey? We'll see. Next. Anyway, next. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Merci. You know, it really lacked a bit of Miku tone, though, Lee. Yeah. You know what we should do? I, I heard the uh, jack lead go in there, and I think, you know... Well, we um, could test to see if we can tell which... I literally... It's a, bit like, it's a bit like blokes that can that can um, tell what a car is just from hearing the car door being <laughs> shut. I'm going to test my knowledge of just literally plugging uh, leads in and going to see yeah. if I can tell what... Because some of that was like a ping after, it's a clipping. Oh, so I'm still plugged in, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's... let's uh, let me try this. say this is uh, in my opinion this is massively easier than the clean test that we did must be something about distortion and valves because if that's not a valve amplifier I will eat my pajamas Ooh, <laughs> not to play ACDC when you can't see the fretboard. <laughs> um, yes, that's, uh, I mean, that to me had all the harmonics and the sustain and dynamics that I would associate with a valve amp. So if that's Very not a valve amplifier, uh, then that's it. My reputation is in pieces. Oh no, don't say I'm that. I'm holding the lead out.
I, I'm a little bit torn here because it's telling me it's a valve amp, but I'm not convinced. What? And I'm not convinced because it's, <clears throat> there's something almost too perfect about the sound. Like the bass response is brilliant. The high end is, I mean, it's a great sounding amplifier and it's responding to sustained notes the way that I'm used to a valve amp doing that. But there's something about it that just isn't quite convincing me that it's a valve amp. I can't put my finger you on mean, what it. You mean almost is. like a modeling amp sometimes is too perfect, you mean? Is, uh, that, is that what you're trying to say? I don't even know if too perfect is the phrase that you can or use. Sort of it just sounds mm. like it's trying to sell me the concept that it's a valve amp. Oh, well. And I think this is a, a very good digital modeling amplifier. Wow. Now, well, I, I will, I'm, I could be completely wrong. And I, I'll be happy if I am, but personally, I I am I am not sold that that's a valve amp, and yeah. I, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, if if it's a valve amp, it's great. If it's not, it's an extremely good digital modelling amp. It's uh, digital, I, not I'm, analog. I'm I'd be amazed if that's not. Well, like, let's hear the third one. But I'll be amazed if that's not <coughs> valve amp out the third. Third amp, please, sir. Did you want to have a guess at? Um, me, do you want to have a guess at what brand that is, Rob? Uh, or do you want to wait until you've heard this one? Or that's that's really tricky because I I don't know if I've heard if it is digital, which I'm kind of seventy five percent sure it is. Then I've not heard an amp produce that good of a digital tone before. Ooh, best it's the Black Star I. What are they called? ID. Core. Yeah. Um, Who knows? Other three. than me, obviously. Amp number three is plugged in, ready oh, to go. Oh, okay, right. <coughs> oh, Christ. Oh, that's so loud! <laughs> My ear! sound of a little speaker not coping with what it's being given uh, it's, it's, doesn't sound nice it's that's odd isn't it because it's amazing how different people perceive things maybe it's where i'm sitting and everything but um uh, my brain says to me that the first one we heard is the mid price one the second one we heard is the valve one and so i was kind of <coughs> expecting the third one to sound the worst of the three but actually, I think that sounds the second best of the three, if that no, makes I sense. No, I, I'm just going to say no. I don't really like that oh, sound. Intro. No, no, it sounds great for chords. It's probably like... Can sound, I, you know what it sounds like? What's it sound like? It sounds like haze or something. Not not haze. Uh, the little Marshall. Uh, what MG? No 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 no. They did do an amp called the haze, but that was <coughs> no. a little tube amp. No no, like the valve amp. MA, uh, DSL. Uh, little tiny combo. Class five. Yeah, class five is what it sounds like. But I don't know. I I'm gonna say this is valve. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that I, I my, my in my gut feeling is telling me it's not, but I think it's Valve, and I think it's uh, something like a Class Five, something with a little speaker. Are they all one by twelve? They're all one by twelve. Yeah. Although, although I said they are, um, there is a 
I'm, I'm pointlessly demonstrating a size difference to you with my hands at the moment. Oh, right. That's there's good. A, there's then. about a, probably a six inch <laughs> difference in the width of the That's cabinet what she between said. the smallest one and the largest one. Okay. Well, look, I'm, I'm going to say it's Valve and it's either something like a Vox or a Marshall and it's something like, like a little, yeah, like that. Let me, let me have the lead. Okay, hold on, hold on. Very, very loud. Very loud. Nice on chords. I like it on chords. Don't really like the lead sound of it. Oh, That's man, where it's, it's, it's getting spiky. It's really valvey, analogy. But you know what the problem is? Is that it sounds like a power amp. It, it sounds like it's an amp with power valves being pushed really hard to get the gain, rather than preamp valves. No, that, that's for me. That's that's the modelling one. For me, that's the modelling one. The middle one is the solid state one, and the uh, the sorry, the first one is the solid state one. I can't even get. Yeah, first one is solid state. Second one is valve. Third one is modeling. And in I'm my saying, opinion. I'm saying first one is analog. The second one was digital, and, and I think this one is valve. Okay. But now, I, I'm open now, for being. I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what the three amps are. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't know which ones we plugged in. Thing is, the second I, I hear this, I'm going to go ah. Okay. So, the um, in the room we have the digital modeling one is a Vox. 80 watt Valvetronics, so that the current, is it Valvetronics Plus or something like that? But it's the 1 by 12 Valvetronics, so that's the one that's going to have. I've not heard that. Um, amp. No, I don't think you have. So, so that's the one that's going to have lots of different amp preamps. I presume that Rabir has chosen one that's sort of, you know, British y sounding. Uh huh. Uh, the solid state one is the Orange Crush Pro oh! 60 watt. Oh! Um, and, and just to, to sort of reassure everybody, you know, that is your. your traditional sort of MOSFET style transistor guitar amplifier. Um, so no digital. And what's the, app, what's the valve amp? And the valve amp is the Marshall DSL 40. Uh, so they're all 1 by 12s. Oh, and as shit. I said, the, 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 the Vox is the smallest cabinet of the oh, three. Okay. And I think the Marshall is the largest cabinet of the three, but only not a big difference. I mean, you know, probably about in six which inches case, different. In which case I am concerned that the Vox is behind me and incredibly loud. And uh, in which case, the second one was the valve and it will be the Marshall. Um, so it's interesting, knowing the brands, yeah. I, I would then change my mind and mm. say the first one I heard was analog and it was the orange. And I think, to be honest with you, for future blindfold tests, if we, you know, as a moment, neither of us more, should know the brand. Yeah, I, I think that's the just knowing what the three amps were uh, definitely gave me a sort of a, a heads we, up. Can we have a look? Especially, I think, with the orange one, because it was really interesting when you went, that's AIDS' signature sound, because it is. You know, yeah. that is his signature sort of vibe, which is kind of good, because it means if you like orange valve amplifiers, then you can get a good orange sound out of a solid state amplifier. Um, well, let's so, see if we got it right. right. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're assuming. We're being yeah. very presumptuous. Ugh. Oh, my God, I've gone blind again with the light. <sighs> Please. Oh, <laughs> we got it wrong. So, so it wrong. Yeah, that's great. So, despite the fact that I knew one of the three was an orange, yeah, yeah. and was absolutely convinced that one of those amplifiers sounded like an orange, yeah, we were both wrong. Where it was actually that one. Yes, uh, and uh, I'm I'm annoyed at myself for thinking the Marshall was digital, but it's just because it was so mm. perfect. Like the, the low frequencies and the high frequencies, everything was just like balanced. That's so weird. So, so okay, so in terms of my least favorite sound was the first one. And what we're saying, oh, sorry, doesn't matter anymore, we've moved. And what we're saying, that was that one, was it? That, well, I suppose, again, it's a bit like the Fender one. That's so weird. So my least favorite sound was actually the cheapest amplifier. And my second most favorite sound was the middle amplifier. And my favorite sound was the valve amp. So in that, but I just, completely, I don't know, my brain was suggesting that 
that I don't know, solid state should sound <coughs> different in a way. But... I think I was listening for tricks. Mm. My least favourite was the orange, which is unusual for me. Really? Yeah, I didn't like that at all. Um, that was my favourite, mm. but it was just delivered in such a, a perfect way yeah. that I was like, nah, it's just be as it... tweaked it and it's a digiamp. Is it 100% valve? What is it, MA? No, DSL. Yes, DSL. Yeah, DSL. All oh, right. Yeah, I think because we, we were going to use um, we were going to use a Blackstar HT40 for the 112, but there's there was a lot of kind of um, <coughs> sort of debate on the because the Blackstar HT40 uses um, like a, a, a transistor element to its <coughs> on its distortion channel, so it still has valves in the distortion channel, but they're kind of boosted through almost like a pedal circuit to give yeah. it that sort of high gain, and um, and I kind of, you know, I know some people, I actually think they're wrong, but some people don't class that then as a true valve amplifier. I kind of think it's all semantics, really. But the, the Marshall is just a straight valve amplifier. Yeah. So I kind of, that's why we chose. Well, so my banter about it sounding too perfect is because it is a real valve amplifier. Yeah, I mean, that was the, for me, it was kind of just like more so. I think on the clean one that we did, I was, I, 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 I had a sort of a sensation that the Hot Rod Deluxe just had something valvey about it that the Blues Cube didn't. In this video, it was like, there's no question. That's right. the valve amp. Yeah, know. I mean, I agree. That sounded by far the best. I was just listening for tricks and found it mm. much harder because... You know what I wouldn't mind doing? Because I do think it was a bit unfair on that first amplifier. Um, the fact it had no reverb just made it sound way too... Um, What's the right? Just too dry. I quite you know, like that. Did you? Yeah, yeah I, I didn't, didn't like it because it didn't have reverb. <laughs> Got to have reverb. Um, well, you want to just add some reverb? Well, only because I just sort of. But it's a bit late now because we know what they all are, don't we? Yeah, but, I wouldn't um, bother. But basically, could you tell which one was was valve? I I couldn't. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? I see. I I, I think a lot of this again is, uh, and I intentionally again in the in the last video, where people wanted to play along. They, they, they uh, got. I, I got some people complaining at me in the comments section that I'd mentioned uh, that you know that I could hear an amp behind me or I could hear it over here, and that then obviously gave away for them which amp was which. So yeah. I intentionally didn't say during that video, "Oh, I can hear this one's behind me or this one," but I still maintain that again, you get a quite a different sensation of sound if you sit, you know, with your head right in front of the speaker than oh, if yeah. you sit over Absolutely. there and I and I can only imagine that I, personally I think if Rob had sat here and I'd sat over there I think Rob would have just gone that's the valve uh, I don't know maybe the... do you know what I thought that was what I thought it might be a Kemper through that powered speaker oh uh, really yeah because we because I, I said to Lee earlier can I I'll, I'll use a Kemper for a video just for the laugh you know and uh, we got a powered speaker here so I thought I was listening for a Kemper mm. <clears throat> which of course would sound very much like a valve amp but th were, okay, you know, that's the next blindfold challenge, oh, isn't it? No. That's the next blindfold challenge. Kemper, Kemper with a versus speaker the real versus thing. The real thing. See what we can see. <laughs> that's That'll the one, be great. Isn't it? Anyway, well, that's it. Video's over yep. for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Well, that doesn't mean anything to you because, of course, these videos get put up in all sorts of random times. Yes. Um, but uh, that's it. Yes. Um, can I just say as well, I love this guitar. Um, you can because it's I'm yours. Just say it. That's it. Okay. Right. Could you just pick through?